Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 25th of 2019 well, it is titled NGC 6995, the Bat Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, perhaps you can see the bat in these gases out in uh, space in this nebula. And this is actually part of the Veil Nebula. And we've looked at that before. The Veil Nebula is a supernova remnant. And this is just a portion of the Veil Nebula. The Veil Nebula is a tremendously large supernova remnant that would span uh, many full moons across. And this is just one small section of that. And in fact, because it is so large, it is often seen as a different nebulae. So this is one of the ones that we see, but there are also other nebulae that are also part of this. And one that is mentioned is the Witch's Broom Nebula that we often look at around Halloween time, which we see, which is also another part of the Veil Nebula. Now, this is, again, the remnant of a star that exploded. So this is just a piece of that. The material that we're seeing here is material that is expanding out into space and has been doing so for thousands of years since this, uh, since this star was seen to explode here on Earth. And we're seeing still, even after that long time, the turbulent nature, the long filaments of material and shock material as it strikes in through the interstellar medium. So the intense energy of that supernova can still be seen today, long, long after the supernova itself was done. Now the image here is looking at the emission of several different atoms, and in fact red is the hydrogen gas shown there, and of course hydrogen makes up the vast majority of the material within this uh, supernova remnant, as it does with just about everything else in astronomy. Hydrogen it composes 90% of the atoms in the universe, so most likely if you pick out an atom it is going to be a hydrogen atom. But we can also look at other atoms here, and in fact the blues are looking at the emission of oxygen and nitrogen atoms. Oxygen and nitrogen atoms are formed within stars and are then expelled back out into space. So the layers of the star that had formed these could have then expelled them back out into space. And that's what happens with supernovae remnants. They enrich the material from the interstellar medium. So they add more of these heavy elements, things that are other than hydrogen and helium, so that new generations of stars that form billions of years from now can form from this enriched material. And it is because of things like this that the Earth exists. The original Big Bang only created hydrogen and helium, so a planet like Earth with lots of silicon and iron would be unable to form, and life needing carbon and oxygen would also not be able to form. However, after many generations of supernovae expelling this type of material out into the universe, we have then been able to form planets like the Earth and be able to form life. So all of those heavier elements, everything other than hydrogen or helium, whether on Earth or in our bodies, is actually comes from something like this. So that was our picture of the day for November the 25th of 2019. It was titled NGC 6995, the Bat Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be galaxy-sized ring. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.